jump. Let it jump. Let it rest. Let it rest. Mama, let it go. What's wrong with you? I just felt a light over my chest. I don't know when I felt. So, but when you came, you were having chest pain. Better. Is it still there? No, man. No, Is it still there? No, man. So, I'm, as I'm hitting you, I'm not feeling the pain. No, man. It's not Celebrate there. Jesus. What's wrong with you? And how are you feeling now? I was having a my my BP was too low that hmm. you cannot control it. Then my blood pressure was also low. So, what has happened to you now? I feel great because even when I want to step for today's service, I couldn't come. That's why I came late. Celebrate Jesus. That healing is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. That healing is permanent. Now the second, still bring her up for me. There's something good for that you are in Zion. You see that don't you? Shut up, Papa. There was a time that Peter moved in the streets of Jerusalem and nobody recognized him. There was a time Peter moved as a fisherman. Nobody was drawn to him. There was nothing attractive about his life. He was normal like every other man. The day the spirit came upon him, Peter's movement changed because as he took a step, power spoke. As he picked another step, power spoke. He began to move. People did not even wait for him to lay hands. All they did was to put men by the street. And as Peter Past as he walked, uh, power began to speak, power began to move, and his shadow began to do me with I'm a higher pound I'm giving us this example. If an ordinary man like Peter can carry power, then you can carry double. Go about in your area, something will change after today's service. They will say, uh-uh, is it not this Mr. A that came back from church? How come there is something extraordinary about this sister? How come there is something? People in your compound, they will not be able to comprehend because you begin to speak in clear terms. Power. Power. That power. I see God using you beyond your capacity. I see God using you beyond your ability. I see God making you a wonder to your world. I see God making your name relevant. I see God doing mighty things with you. If you are the one, your amen will be louder. See, there is a level of power you will carry that even your saliva is a component of change. People don't need to meet you. They don't even need to see you. They just need to contact that grace. See, there's a level of power you will carry without faith. Whether the person has faith or not, the miracle will be done. This is the power I'm talking about. That in your marriage, all your in-laws will travel. You will become automatically Deborah. Your counsel is what they will travel to and come and hear. Because they know the moment you stepped into that family, climate changed. Power. I see the man that carried power in this, in this kingdom that men did not look for. The Holy Ghost is a supernatural transformer. He can power your life and make men tap from your light. You don't need a pulpit to manifest this power. You don't. When you manifest this power, your life automatically becomes a pulpit. I heard the story of Archbishop Benson Dahosa. He said he went to the market. All he needed to do was to heal one woman. As he healed the woman, the place turned. It became a crusade. You can do it. Carry power as an usher. Carry power as a choir. Carry power as a member of the protocol. Carry power as a media personnel. Carry power so that as men are entering the church, they don't need to even wait for the same one to come. As they shake your hand, disease leaves. You don't even need to pray. That a lady came to my house to visit me, and I was making a post on Facebook. And I know she was just waiting for me to finish so that I would I would maybe sing, shout, and do everything. I didn't do that. While I was typing that post, because I didn't want the inspiration to leave my head, I turned and looked at her and I began to prophesy. I said, Young lady, you are about to leave school. If you leave this school, then she was in 300 level. If you leave this school, your life is closed. She is screaming, I started shouting. I said, Why am I seeing your mother complaining of high blood pressure on her back? She started rolling. She said, Pastor Faith, you did not sing, you did not do anything, and you could tell me my problem. This is why I came. I say, I know a God. See, when you carry power, you will cut explanation. Rev, you always tell that explanation becomes plenty where power is lacking. Explanation becomes plenty where manifestation is lacking. 
you all your generation one of the persons that really manifested power in the scripture is Jesus himself we can't talk about power and not talk about the author of power Jesus himself and there are some persons that 70 years 75 years their life is nothing they're like Methuselah the only thing they know them for is age no impact no value nothing to write home life is just they're just tired of life life can be frustrating without the power of the holy ghost power when you are conscious of this power to make wealth see you will not just speak in tongues you will speak in cash your life will become sweet coming to see the reason why many of us cannot lock ourselves for two days and pray is because what will you eat what will your family eat you cannot try it but there is a dimension of wealth you will bomb me to see if you choose not to come out for one week you are comfortable he said he will prepare a table before you if god chooses to prepare a table it is he who give, gives you the power to make wealth so beyond entrepreneurial skills and principle for wealth there is a power that makes men wealthy it is not only principles that make men wealthy in this kingdom there is something called the spirituality of business God said he is the one. There was a day one customer wanted to buy shoes. I make shoes by God's grace. And this guy will promise me today. He will promise me tomorrow. I knew that he was willing, but something was pushing him. At this point, laws is not what I need. It is the power. I sat down in that morning. I said, I had some others to go and deliver to. So I had two prayer points. The first thing I did, I said, Lord, I don't know why this guy is delaying me, but I need him to pay. I need him to buy. And I said, Lord, as I deliver this footwear, the footwear was 25,000. I want to come back with double orders. I don't want to go. And I prayed that day for one hour. Children of God, I am in God's presence. Before I finish my prayer, that guy sent me the alert. It was that day he opened my eye that Pastor Faith, it is your business is not growing because you know business. It is growing because you know these things. Power. Testimony one. Testimony two. When I went to deliver those five pairs of footwear, I came back with 50,000 naira order. That is not all. This same person single-handedly still ordered for Israel was 130,000. Power. You think he was buying my shoe because I am the best? He was buying because there is a spirit in the man and the spiritual of the Almighty. Give it understand. Power. He didn't know why, but I knew why. You don't need to know. Just know God. Apply this thing to your business. You will see results. You will come back and thank God. I cannot be poor. I cannot be poor. Say it. I cannot be poor. Even if you want to be poor, I reject it for you. Because you are here this morning, you cannot be poor. Poverty has been swallowed up. See, poverty is not spirituality. The richest God is the holiest God. Check. See, when God calls a man into service, what he does is he, he allows blessings and wealth. Follow that man like follow come charger. Is it Abraham? Is it David? Is it Solomon? How come you are serving God and your life is not looking like it? I like it. Tonight your story changes. I say your story changes. The reason why many people are poor is because they lack information. They lack ideas. The spirit of God will give you ideas. I sat down in church I think about two months ago. And while Rev was preaching, an idea jumped into me. After church I met him. I said, Daddy. Why you were preaching? This is the idea God gave me. He said, you are blessed, my daughter. I sowed my seed. Because he will always teach us that before you start anything, you erect an altar. I don't say, let me test the business. So, one fifty thousand naira just carelessly entered my account. Just like that, I just threw it into my account. Just to, because I tried to test. That's to tell you an idea, what an idea I can do. We don't look for urgent 2K. What is urgent 2K? We are not in the class of urgent 2K. If we want to dash, we give urgent 200K. What is urgent 2K? Say, I refuse to be poor. Ah, ah. And when King Solomon sold, people were looking for God's phone number. God called him by himself. Solomon, you were dialing in my number unconsciously. I don't come. What do you want? 
just a little girl. I was 10 years old when my father died. Ah, I told myself I did not know. But now, devil, you cannot carry my mother. In this family, I decide who lives and when they live. You know why? Because I am a God on earth. Say, ah, greater is he that lives in me. As Jesus reigned heaven, I reign on earth. Have that conviction. Have it. One of the things power will do to you and do for you is that it will secure you. Some persons here, oh, we will come to that. Some persons here, you are not scared of the unknown. Only you, you are scared. What if I die? What if you don't die? As I'm just going on the road now, what if moto jam me? What if, what if, what if, what if? Power. Somebody say power. Power. Another dimension of power. The third dimension of power. Some of you, you came for healing.